All right, let's take a look at interfacing techniques for the push button switch to the MXP and MSP connectors. This is the rotary encoder from the MyRio starter kit, but when you press down on the knob, you get a push button. So the rotary encoder has one side that has only two terminals sticking out. These are breadboard compatible, and you have a single pole, single throw switch. Incidentally, in terms of terminology, single pole refers to the movable end of the switch, and then the throw says how many possible positions can you have. This is a single, you can also have double. Now the symbol for a push button looks like this. We have the two terminals for the push button switch and then a movable piece that either breaks the contact or completes the contact. When pressed, you have a short circuit. Ideally, you would have zero ohms between the two terminals. When the push button is released, you have an open circuit. Open circuit has an ideal value of infinite resistance. All right, to get a sense of how to connect the switch to my Rio, let's take a look at the DIO, that is the digital input output, when it's in input mode. Basically, you would think of it as just a signal going directly into the software, but when it's in input mode, we have a pull up resistor to 3.3 volts. And this pull-up resistor exists on every DIO in the MXP style connectors, which are connectors A and B. On the MSP connector, or connector C, we have a pull-down resistance. The value of each of these resistances is more or less the same, with a value of around 40 kilo ohms. Now let's see how we can connect this switch to cause the DIO to switch states. With this pull-up resistor, with nothing else connected, it's going to pull the line high. Now to see why the pull-up works, we realize that if there's zero current through that resistor, there's zero voltage drop, and that just tugs the line up to 3.3 volts. In a similar way, the pull-down resistance is there to pull it down to low voltage. Now to override the pull-up resistor, we would need to connect the DIO to ground. With that solid connection to ground, the software perceives a low input. Now replacing that with our switch, we see that when the switch is open, then we see a high. When you close the switch, it pulls the line down to ground, and we generate a low into the software. So with this arrangement on the MXP connectors, we have an active low signal. Now in a similar fashion, we connect the push button switch to the DIO on the MSP connector, but since it's nominally low with nothing connected, we have to connect DIO to five volts in order to override that pull down. Five volts, I'm, I'm using this because it's readily available on connector C. You could also use 3.3 volt, 3 .3 volt supply if you wanted to. I'd like to point out that the, all of the DIOs have an output high level of 3.3 volts. Not to worry though, because the DIOs when they are in input mode are five volt tolerant. So even though they don't produce five volts, it's okay to apply five volts as a, as a input level. Now this is how we would connect the push button switch on the MSP connector then. Just Connect that other end of the switch up to 5 volts, and you get an active high signal.